Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Jab187. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the Venom Elite Shin Guards, okay? Now, I know I already made a video about it. However, um, I like the quality of the video, new backdrop, got a new mic for my iPhone, so I wanna do it over, plus I feel better. So anyways, guys, now this is the Elite Venom Shin Guard, okay? Let me give you guys a 360 spin. Okay, I've had this for a couple months now. All right, now the shin guard is a synthetic leather. Okay, I don't know why I can't say that, but it's very durable, very comfortable. Uh, the stitching is great. You know, when it came in, no issues with the stitching. Nothing has come undone from what I see. Okay, now, uh, the Venom Elite Shin Guards are made in Thailand, which is great because Thailand makes great products, you know? Um, they, they just have great craftsmanship, they take pride in what they make, whether it's the Muay Thai gloves, headgear, shin guards. When something's made in Thailand, 9 times out of 10, or 99 out of 100, you know you're getting something of quality. So, handmade in Thailand, so... You know it's gonna be a great product, right? Now, the um, got this in khaki color, right? It's more like dark green to me. Anyways, now this does offer great protection. It is very light. Okay, I can throw my cakes with no problem. I block, uh, you know, when I block, when I check, there's no issues there. Now, if, you know, someone does kick you hard enough, you will feel it. Okay, you can see the extra pattern right here. You do feel the the kick if it's hard enough, right? Um, sometimes we go hard for kicks, right? Just to toughen our legs up, and I will feel the the kicks, you know. And there's some they, John, sometimes they kick hard, and I don't feel nothing. So, but uh, yeah, very light. It doesn't feel heavy in my legs. Some days I'll spar ten rounds, twelve rounds, and and. You know, as long as my stamina is good, my legs do not feel heavy with these on at all. I've tried other ones with leather, and all of them are very durable, you know. And they are light, just not light as this. You know, they do feel heavy on your legs when you're walking around. You know, in the ring, moving around, not walking around. Don't be walking around the ring. When you're, uh, you know, moving around the ring, throwing kicks, etc., etc. Okay, now, the inside is of a canvas feel. Okay, kind of material, and it, they don't move around. It doesn't move around um, at all. You know, like I said, I've sparred with these many, many rounds. They don't move around, stay in place no matter how crazy the kicks are. You know, they, they stay, which is great. You know, sometimes you throw kicks at the same time, and it, it moves, right? But uh, now with these, also thick Velcro strap, which I love. Okay, so far it's very durable, the Velcro. Got no issues with it. Uh, like I said, I love it. Great, you know, like, good job on Venom for the thick Velcro. Now, this is the only downside, but it's kind of a big downside for me. However, I figured out a solution. So, okay, the downside is this is really high, the top strap. Okay, and it affects your checks. When you're trying to block a kick, it, it hurts, right? Because it's putting pressure on your tendons, on your leg. Okay, so when you block, when you, right, when you raise your leg, it, it presses hard and, and it, it, you know, like I said, it hurts. So to show you guys, let me see if this will work. Okay, so you see how it's right on top of my leg, right? And when I want to block, see that? I'm not even lifting my foot high. So the higher you put, the more pressure it is. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Okay, it's all the way up to my knee. Okay, the, the strap. If the strap was a little bit lower, it would have been awesome because you could block, right? And no issues, you wouldn't feel no pain. Now, that is a, a common issue. Maybe I thought it was myself because, you know, I have short, stubby, fat legs. But, you know, the other people that bought the, the same shin guards have told me the same thing. So, what I have done is, 
And what I do, instead of having the Velcro top like this, like it should be, I kind of make it like a little V. Like this. This gives me a little bit more wiggle room for the checks. And that's the only solution I come up with and you know, it works very well. And that's what I tell my gym partners, right? I'm like, dude, just gonna, gonna have to do this. And yeah, that, that, that works very well. Luckily, like I said, this Velcro strap is awesome. It's one of the, some of the best Velcro. So even like this, the shin guard doesn't move around, you know, which is a huge plus. So, you know, when I got the, when I first got it, I'm like, man, I'm gonna have issues with this, right? Then I did this, I'm like, man, hopefully it'll move around and, and nope. Once I did this, it does not move around, right? So let me do it to my leg so I can show you guys. All right. So you see how I moved it back now like that? You see how there's more room? So try to get a good angle. So when I block, I could block. See how much higher I could go? No issues, no pain. So that's the big downside of, of you know, these shin guards. However, um, like I said, if you do that, you should be fine, right? The, the V in the back. But uh, if it wasn't for this, being too high, it's almost a perfect shin guard, right? This cost me about a hundred bucks on Amazon Prime. Well, Amazon has a Prime shipping. And yeah, it came very quickly. These are size large. So I'm 5'8". So yeah, guys, so I just want another quick overview. Great shin guards. If you don't mind doing the, the V thing in the back, get the shin guards, guys. You won't regret it. And uh, that's it, guys. Peace out. Subscribe to Jab187. Um, if you guys are interested in me doing some supplement reviews, right? Maybe, you know, some other things. Uh, let me know. Okay, guys. Peace out. Be safe. Oh, man. Hopefully my video didn't come out all crooked. Anyways, peace out, guys.